My best friend is a R, nice guy and he needs to know it. He's always posting memes about me, a hard-working respectful man. Her. I like you as a friend, but he doesn't understand he isn't owed anything for it. There's also tension between us because I've been in a long-term relationship and he's never had a GF. I just wish he knew why but I DK how to tell him. Ask him why he doesn't feel obligated to date a hard-working, respectful man. Even if you tell him he won't understand, as a woman who's been on the other end of a lot of those nice guys. No matter how you tell them, be it gently or harsh ASF they don't listen nor do they care. Partly why they're friend-zoned in the first place tears of joy. Tell him that being hard-working and respectful means nothing. Most people work hard, they have to, and most people know how to interact with others politely. It means jack shit. What actually attracts people is when you can make them feel good. Are you funny? Interesting? Charismatic? A joy to be around on top of obviously being kind with a job? Or are you just a lonely ass dude with no vibe? Equals your mate. My boyfriend assaulted me and I don't know what to do. TLR boyfriend assaulted me last night, is extremely remorseful today. Can we get past this or is it game over? Me, 37 female, and my boyfriend, 47 male, been together around 2.5 years, both live in our own houses but spend a good portion of our time together. We were celebrating his birthday yesterday. Nothing fancy, presents and a couple of beers at his in the afternoon then out to a local pub for dinner. We got back to his house at around 9 p.m. He had quite a bit more to drink while we just chatted and listened to music. He burst into tears when I brought out his birthday cake, said no one had ever made him feel as special as I do, never seen anyone get so emotional over a homemade lemon drizzle but it was kinda sweet. All in all, a pleasant evening. Around 11 he suggested going to bed then stopped me and said, strip naked now in front of me, it is my birthday, it was weird and out of character. I said no, I wasn't comfortable with that and he pushed a few more times and I said no. He accepted and followed me to bed. He was pretty drunk by then and was being a bit clumsy. When we were in bed, he was being much rougher than normal. I had to tell him a few times to be gentle. He asked if he could cover me in baby oil and I said no, I don't like that. He asked again and I said please no, I don't like it. Then he squirted me with so much baby oil. It went all over my face and in my eye. I shouted, I said no, and he said, I'm so sorry, I thought it'd be funny, he then went back to grabbing me but he was really hurting me now. I said, stop, you're hurting me, but he wouldn't. I said it again but much louder and he said, I'm not hurting you, you just need to be braver. I curled up into a ball so he couldn't touch me and not long after he fell asleep. I felt awful this morning. I didn't sleep. I'm sore. And I feel violated. He asked what was wrong this morning and I burst into tears and explained the above. He was shocked and very, very upset. He had no idea he'd done any of it and is pretty devastated. He cried and said he can't believe he'd hurt me so badly physically, emotionally and mentally. He seems to understand that he ignored my no, that I had withdrawn consent. He hasn't made excuses or denied what he did, just asked what do I need to fix this? Can someone do this as a one-off or is this the real him I've only just seen? He's never given me any reason to be scared of him before but I was scared of him last night. If I proceed with the relationship, what needs to change or what do I need him to do to make me feel Sade again? Sorry, this ended up longer than I intended. Just very upset and anxious right now. Boyfriend assaulted me last night. Read that again. I think you have your answer. Please for your own safety, leave him. They are always remorseful in the moment. I've been blackout drunk before and been around people who were blackout drunk and if he was intoxicated enough last night to not remember what he did then it's awfully convenient that he was also able to both get it up and be coherent enough to repeatedly try to manipulate you and berate you for being upset at him. When you call out someone for hurting you and their immediate response is, I don't remember that, it must have been the alcohol, your instinct should be to doubt them. Alcohol doesn't magically make you assault people and ignore them when they're begging you to stop hurting them. Wife, 30F, wants me, 27M, to quit my job to go with her to Disney for her birthday. My wife and her family planned a trip to Disney for her birthday, since that's the place they go for vacations sometimes multiple times a year. Not a fan myself in the least, but it's forget birthday so I was happy to go for her. Early this year I put in the request for the week off, and was told by work the trip falls within a blackout period for requests off, and I was denied. 
I've been working for the majority of the year trying to get the days off approved by any means I can, but I am still being denied. My wife tells me I need to quit or go on the vacation and let them fire me because her birthday is important, which I understand it is. But while it's not a professional career, my job pays pretty well, around $60,000 annual after overtime, and it would hurt us a good amount for me to lose it, especially since we have a mortgage, and she also wants to buy a brand new car after we get back. I could try to get a similar job afterwards, but it would not be a good look to have been fired from my last job because I took a week-long vacation I was weekly explicitly told was denied far in advance. I'm really concerned about our future, and don't know what the right move is at all. My in-laws agree I should lose my job, citing that unemployment will be high due to inflation, but I feel sick at even the thought of receiving an unemployment check when I have no disability or anything keeping me from working other than my wife telling me to. I just have no clue what to even do. Edit for clarifications. 1. I do not like Disney at all, as a place or a company. They are antithetical to who I am and I do not at all want to lose my job going somewhere I hate. The impasse is really losing my job over something my wife wants me to do. 2. My question at the end was very poorly worded. I do not know whether I should quit my job, because I know the answer to that. I want to know how I can tell her how insane her point of view is without it becoming a fight I will inevitably lose because she pulls my emotional strings like a puppeteer. 3. I know I should get a new job anyways because of draconian vacation policy, been trying to for about a year now but I have no certainty of a replacement at the moment so I've got to keep working until a strong lead I have on a very lucrative lifelong career job comes to fruition. 4. She works, yes. She makes more per hour than me. $23.15 per hour, by a significant amount, $35 per hour. But I work far more hours per week with her working about 25-30 each week and me working around 50-55. Plus my job offers healthcare coverage whereas hers does not. However since she's not a big math or finances person she sees that she makes more per hour and believes herself the primary breadwinner. Bruh don't quit your job. You missing her birthday is just something she's going to have to get over. Her birthday is one day, your job is daily. She rather you be financially unstable? Ask her how does that make sense? Man that's crazy especially as they go there multiple times a year so it's not like she would be missing out. Definitely don't quit, she and her family are incredibly selfish. Your wife and her family are being selfish, immature and irresponsible. And what 30 year old insists on a week in Disney, with a whole entourage to accompany her, regardless of other commitments? It's ridiculous. If you want to keep your job, and your self-respect, you need to take a stand on this. Let her settle for a brand new car. My boyfriend, 35M, said his favorite trip was with an ex while we were on our trip. Me, 30F. I took my boyfriend to my home country to meet my parents and family and we did a small road trip through the Mediterranean so I could show him the sights. While on the way back and we were done with the trip I asked him if this had been his favorite trip ever. He said no, and that his favorite trip was a trip in the southwest of the US. I asked him, oh okay, was this one of the trips you did with your friends? He was hesitant in his response and said no, it was with his last ex-girlfriend he was with for two years. I know for a fact he isn't in love with her and that relationship is 100% done but I felt like his response wasn't nice. I addressed it with him and he doesn't seem to think so and my friends have agreed to say what he said was inappropriate. To make matters worse, on our trip I felt terrible at one point because he has a close girlfriend he's known since college and he even officiated her wedding with her husband. I saw how he texted her while we were sitting next to each other on a boat tour and they would use hearts and kisses in their texts. He plans to visit a few of his college friends in a few weeks, including her, so the texts were of her using kiss emojis saying she can't wait to see him. I didn't know he was planning this trip until I asked him who he was texting and he said another GF's name. But then I said, but why did I see heart emojis in your conversation? He then responded it was the other girlfriend and that he was planning on visiting his friends in a few weeks and that's just how they talk to one another. I told him the emojis were strange and he seemed surprised and he willingly said, if the emojis make you uncomfortable then I won't do them anymore it's not an issue. But even though he was chill about the situation it made me overthink their relationship even though they don't live in the same city and haven't seen each other in four years and she is married. My mom found out about what happened from my sister and she only met him once when he came to visit my parents in our country. 
They are more traditional so she freaked out saying how this isn't the behavior of a man who wants to keep his woman etc. I was somewhat okay with everything until I heard this from my mom and can't help rehash it in my mind wondering if it's okay. And hash x 200b. Too long did not read. Boyfriend said his favorite trip was with an ex-girlfriend when asking what was his favorite trip and since my mother hearing about it has caused me to think if it's an issue or not. So I'd be more concerned about the part where he's planning trips and not even telling you until you see a text. In a committed relationship I would expect to let my partner know if I'm planning to go out of town. And I wouldn't send kissy faces to other men and I definitely wouldn't want my husband sending any to other women. Your mother is right. I don't think the part about the favorite trip was particularly wrong of him, even if hurtful for you, and I would be hurt as well to be honest. The texting with the emojis is. Seuss. And you shouldn't have to explain to a 35 yo why. There's something in his attitude that screams, I don't care much.